Hey, we're joined uh, by a special guest in studio. Say hello to Jennifer Sedler of Chandler, Arizona, although she is a U of A Wildcat presently and also the current reigning Miss Arizona. Yeah. Hello, Jennifer. Welcome to the camel. Hi. Thanks so much for having me. You are Miss Arizona for how much longer? A little under a month. And and how do you feel like uh, about that? Um, it's it's bittersweet. I mean, it's been an amazing year, and I've loved it so much. But I'm sad to see it come to an end. Is it is it a grind? Is it grueling? It seems like you have a lot of appearances. I do, I do. It's a lot of work. I do at least one appearance a day. Sometimes it's three, four, even five a day. And I write all my own speeches, do my, all my own networking and marketing. Do you do your own hair? Do they have like a court that travels <laughs> along, ladies in waiting? I wish. No, no? I do all my own hair. It really oh. surprises me because anytime we've been around a Miss Arizona before, she's had kind of like a team of people and you brought yourself here you're you know very independent yeah, um no so i don't it's, have any i mean i have um like directors and state staff but they live all over the state mm. so when i travel when i do everything it's all solo is this wow, considered a, one of the grueling appearances that you have to do today or is yeah, this, this is the kind of thing that i just uh, wake up in the morning oh it's early wake up to do this today. you won't miss really? Pain. No. uh do you have any other appearances today um, no, I have a photo shoot later today, so that'll be fun. Ooh. All right. fun stuff. We're going to find out what it's like to be Miss Arizona and uh, what your uh, future holds. Uh, but we thought we'd have a little bit of fun with the battle of the sexes. Do you mind playing on behalf of the ladies today? I do not mind playing, but I cannot say I'll do well. Okay. Well, I bet you I will. can't make any promises. <laughs> Confidence, young lady. You're Miss Arizona last time I checked. All right. Let's play the Battle of the Sexes. This is the Battle of the Sexes. Driven by Harley Davidson of Scottsdale. A new Harley dealer with a new attitude. We, Check them out at hdfscottsdale.com. Well, we've met the lovely uh, Jennifer Sedler, Miss Arizona. Uh, she's going to be representing the ladies, and she is taking on... The guy. Right. Who's our guy today? The guy is Brandon. His He works on cars. Hey, Brandon. How's it going? Good. Did you know you were going to be taking on Miss Arizona? No, I did not. Well, <laughs> try not to think of the fact that she uh, finished as the third runner-up in yes. Miss America. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Who, who won it this year, by the way? Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin. Boom! Yeah, really. Okay. Brandon, Cheesier. prepare to die. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. All right. Battle of the Sexes. Here we go. Jennifer, uh, who won the Indy 500 over the weekend? I'll give you three choices. Andretti, Frankiti, or Unser? Oh, man. Okay. This is really difficult because I know I read an article about this. Mm -hmm. So I remember reading about it, but I don't remember who it was. I'm going to go with Unser. Unser! Mm -hmm. <laughs> It was uh, Dario Franchitti. Mm -hmm. Franchitti. Oh. And uh, Brandon, uh, taking yeah. off of that question, who is Indy 500 winner Dario, Dario Franchitti's wife? Who is he married to? No clue. No clue is not right. No. <laughs> Actually, uh... It's Ashley Judd. Ashley Judd, Winona Judd's mm -hmm. sister. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Um, all right, it's... Uh, Over. What, what's the... Uh, it's over. We're tied mm -hmm. at nothing. All right, Jennifer, for you. What Clint Eastwood character said the famous line, Go ahead, punk. Make my day. This is so embarrassing. I'm not sure I've even seen a movie with Clint Eastwood in it. <laughs> wow. She's so young. <laughs> so I have no clue. I don't even know where to start. Oh. <laughs> That was Dirty Harry. Wow. Oh, but I you're too young never to know That's Dirty. the thing. Yeah. The I would have thing. never guessed that. It's too dirty for you. Don't watch yeah. it. All right, Brandon. <laughs> let us know. Who is Oprah's best friend? Is it Vanessa? Is it Jillian? Or is it Gail? Dale. Dale? Dale. Wait. <laughs> showed her Wait. Hand Let me yeah, give you an A, B, and C. Close enough. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's Gail. Oh, uh, <laughs> all right. Did you know that? <laughs> I did. I knew that one. Okay. Last question for you, Jennifer. Okay. Miss Arizona. Which automaker produces the F-150 truck? I'm going to go with Ford. Ford! Hey, Woo! she knows her car. We're all tied up. This is for the win. Hey, all this right. would be quite a thing, this... by the way, to say I defeated Miss Arizona. Yep. You okay. and Miss Wisconsin can say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, what, um, what was the movie that brought Brad and Angelina together, Mr. and Mrs.? Smith. Smith oh, is good. That, that was that was a Brandon. gimme. 
I feel like that was that last was too question. Easy. Was, that was way too easy. Yeah, every guy would know that. We uh, what do we got for him today? American Idol tickets. Tickets to American Idol concert in tour uh, on tour in concert, and congratulations, Brandon. Thank you. And we're going to send you an autographed picture of Dale, Oprah's best friend. What? Camel Country 108. It's Tim. No Willie today. It's been Willie Free Zone. That's odd. Which is different than the movie Free Willie. But uh, we are uh, in studio with Jennifer Sedler. Uh, She goes to the U of A. Mm -hmm. And you are what, a junior? I'll be a sophomore. You'll be, oh, you'll be a sophomore. And you are pre-med. Yes. Uh, Also, Miss Arizona. You're reigning Miss Arizona for about another month, you say. Yeah, only one month left. And when was Miss America? That was in January. And how did you do? I did really well. Um, I made top five. I was third runner up. Wow. That's really impressive. What network was was that on? That was on ABC. But it's not the Donald Trump. No, no, no. That's Miss USA. That's ironically this weekend, though. Okay. What's what's older? Miss America, right? Yeah, Miss America is 91 years old. Uh, Yeah, Yeah. Miss America is like the original. And it's the one that's for scholarships, so it's legit. It's not like it's just about beauty and let's give you a cash prize. It's for people who really want to better themselves and get scholarship money for school. Am I not correct? No, you are correct. Um, $45 million in scholarship every year. Um, there actually is no place for them to score us in beauty. It's talent, mm-hmm. interview, um, your community service. So it's very, I mean, it's... No swimsuit? There is a swimsuit competition, but it's really just to see, like, if you're healthy, if you're fit. They're not looking for, like, they're <laughs> really, they're not looking it for, is. like, the skinny. No, 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 really, though. You get it in is. trouble like if you're, like, too option. skinny. <laughs> and, no, it is that Sorry. because if you saw the swimsuits that they have to wear, they're not, like, the swimsuits that you'd be on the beach with. Yeah. Um, they cover most areas that aren't covered anymore. So in Miss America, <laughs> Miss Wisconsin won. Yes, she did. she was fit, really? She wasn't just, I just, I don't know. She has to milk the cow. She has to say Miss Wisconsin, and I just think of cellulite. I just, oh, it's just like on. a lot of cheese, a lot of curds, right? Am I right, Show Dr. Dude? You may have oh, had nice man. odors. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, you never know. Anyway, well, uh, so. No, she, I, I visited Wisconsin for her homecoming because she doesn't come home very often. She's like three or four times during the year for a couple she's days. She's not welcome. You know, so, no problems at well, home, She's right? traveling so much. So her first time home, the top five are invited to go back to Wisconsin. Yeah. And honestly, I have no idea how she trained for swimsuit in Wisconsin because all there was to eat was like cheese. Cheese oh, curds, wow. yeah. cheese products. Yeah. yeah. It, it must have been really difficult and custard. Right. Mm. <laughs> custard. Uh, so what do you do when, when this is all over for you as Miss Arizona? Well, I'm going to be going back to school in the fall at U of A and I'm going to continue a lot of work with um, the children's hospitals and my platform which is supporting children with life-threatening illnesses. You actually want to become a, a pediatric oncologist. Yes, I do. That wow. is a hard That, that is just job. seems like such a very difficult thing to want to be. I just it is, you know. it is. Um, but I think from working with the organizations that I've worked with this year, it's kind of like I've seen the personal side of it and the family side of it, and from that, it just inspires me more because now I'm like I, I want to help these kids. Wow, so bad. you inspire me. That's yeah. amazing. God bless you. you. Were you ever a toddler in a tiara? <laughs> <laughs> People ask me that all the time. No, I was not taller. I didn't compete for a pageant until I was 18. Good okay. for you. Yeah, and it was because my dance teacher sort of forced me to. She was like, you'd go try it. And I was like, oh, my gosh, what is this? I'm not a pageant girl. So and we- that's how you're probably paying for school, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, I've gotten um, almost $30,000 in scholarship this year. Wow. That's See, it's a beautiful thing when it's, it when a pageant is used in that way. I like that. Yeah, it's it's been extremely helpful. I wonder if it's too late to enter any of my kids in <laughs> uh, <laughs> like a couple more years of college to pay hmm. for. All right, we want to find more out about you. Can you hang out for a little bit? Yes, or I do can. you have other people to visit or ribbons to cut? Or I'm here for you. Okay, all right. Miss Arizona is here. Ribbons While it lasts, we got her in studio. Uh, Jennifer Sedler from Hamilton High in Chandler on to U of A and Miss mm-hmm. Arizona. About a month left as Miss Arizona. Yeah. Uh, very busy. Uh, we didn't know that you pay most of your expenses or you get sponsors to uh, fund being Miss Arizona. It's not yes. like a, it's not like a cush gig where you get lots of money. No, no, no. People tend to think that I get like chauffeured around in a limousine and, you know, have hair and makeup team with me at all times, but that's definitely not the case. I have a lot of great sponsors that have helped make it happen.
And you can go ahead and give them a little plug because they've been there for you the whole the whole time. Yeah, well, I definitely, on the uh, limousine note, would love to thank Earnhardt Auto Centers because they uh, donated a car to me to drive around the whole year. Wow. I estimate I've driven about 30,000 miles so far around wow. the state. So um, to have, like, all the maintenance and everything taken care of for that um, on a car that they donated has been awesome. Now, that does is. that car turn back into a pumpkin when it's over? Or do you have to give that back? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I give that back to them, yeah. <laughs> and they'll probably Pretty sell much. it. Drive Miss Arizona's car. I bet you're Right. <laughs> um, uh, at the Miss America pageant mm-hmm. that that took place about a month ago, you say January? No, in January. Oh, in it January. was a few months ago, and it was in Vegas. And this is not the Donald Trump. Uh, no, no, pageant. no. That's Miss USA. Okay, Miss America, the the long running. Uh, the, you can say the classier of the two pageants. Yeah, I, think I like it is. to think so. Okay. They're they're very different, very different purposes. Okay, and and you've received many scholarships and and so forth. This has helped your schooling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I've received almost thirty thousand dollars in scholarship this year. Miss America um, makes available over forty five million dollars of scholarships every year. What happened? on the swimsuit competition, national television, Miss America pageant. Okay, so here's how it went. You have a, like a two-minute commercial break to run from the theater to this tent where you change, and you have a hostess who just hands you your clothes, and you don't even think. I mean, you just put it on and right, run you, back. And you're changing out of what and into the swimsuit? Um, I was changing out of um, jeans and an express top because they're one of our sponsors. That's where they announced the top 15. Mm. So you're super pumped up. She's like, I just made top 15. Yes, I have two minutes to change into swimsuit and go a swimsuit in front of 8 million people right. on national okay. television. Right. So, a little nervous, very excited. Okay, do you know what butt glue is? Well, I've never used it personally. I've never Okay, heard of it. well, you have to put this glue on your swimsuit in order to make it stay in place. Yeah, because swimsuits notoriously ride up. You yeah. can't have that exactly. on a Miss America pageant. So, my hostess hands me my swimsuit, and I glue it to myself, and I get backstage, and after I get there, I realize my swimsuit bottoms are inside out. <laughs> oh. Inside out. So, backstage, I'm taking off my swimsuit bottoms and turning them right side out, but there is still a line, a line of glue down each side oh. of my swimsuit, and oh I'm about God. I'm about to go compete for Miss America on national television. I wanted to break down and cry. Oh. So even though the cameras didn't catch it, I'm pretty sure the judges still saw it, the lines of glue down my I swimsuit probably, and just wondered what di- what is this girl? What does she do? There's a chance that cost you the competition. You think oh, so? I think. You think that did it? Intentionally handed you. At knowing you had just <laughs> slathered up with butt glue <laughs> inside handed, job, handed if, you your clothes in your swimsuit inside out. If we go back to Sandra Bullock and Miss Congeniality right. and look at all of the stuff that went on behind the scenes <laughs> and the you know it. the strategy on how they get people not to win, that's that's I think what happens. You know what's funny though in that movie, you know the scene where she comes in and they all just rush to her aid and kind of help her oh, out. Right. Yeah, that actually that happens. I mean, if someone is like struggling, then it's literally like that. Like all the girls are like, "Oh, we'll come help you." I mean, oh, they're funny. usually for the most part, you hear about cattiness, but for the most part, I mean, it's very much like a sisterhood. You were third runner up. Yes. And and Miss Wisconsin won. Yes, she did. Say one good thing about her. Um, one good thing about Miss Wisconsin, she's very, very sweet to everyone that she meets. I mean, she's um, like an easygoing person, so she's really Done. easy to talk now to. Now tell me three bad things about her. <laughs> we'll only... talk off air. No, no just like... kidding. Just kidding. She's one... been a great representative. We're very proud of her. One bad thing about Miss Wisconsin. Go. <laughs> I want the dirt. She took the title and I wanted it. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> her butt glue works. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, do you have a boyfriend? I do not. What is the what? best way for a That's guy good. to approach you? The best way for a guy to approach me. Um, you can't be too nice because if you're overly nice, I'm going to be a little freaked out. Yeah, creepy. So, yeah, I guess, I don't know. That's a good question. I'll have to think about that. Okay. And will you tweet that? Yeah, I'll tweet it. All I'll right. tweet it and I'll tag KMLE. So make sure you're you're on the KMLE's Twitter. Okay. And what is uh, um, your your Twitter handle is? At Miss AZ 2011. So you will have that. And I us. will, yes, and I will be tweeting the best way for a guy to approach me. This is Jennifer Sedler, by the way, <laughs> who is going to continue her work in pre-med at the U of A. Now, I stepped on a pitchfork over the weekend. Yes. And punctured, I, I got a puncture wound in my foot. And the pitchfork was a bit rusty. Uh, what mm. should I do now? You're pre-med. Okay, Dr. Sedler's <laughs> orders. Um, have you had a tetanus shot in the past 10 years? I couldn't tell you. I don't know. Okay, well, if you don't know, you should probably go get a refresher because they recommend that if you haven't had one in the 
past five years and you've had an exposure to what you think, you know, could possibly be tetanus, then you um, need to go get another shot. So, What's I mean, the worst that could happen to me? You oh. could get locked jaw and you could not be able to talk on air. You, you, we, know, you would be you missed. Get that you flesh, would be missed. That flesh-eating bacteria could exist on that pitchfork, too. And you yeah, could, like, you lose don't know limbs. what was on that. In this case, locked jaw would be the best thing yeah. that could Recent happen to Recent surveys him. have shown that so many people would be happy if I could never speak again on Camel Country. I don't think that's that true. What is your favorite smartphone app? Um, Wonderlist. Have you heard of this? No. I know the Wonderlist Wonder perfume. By, oh no no no! Wonderlist. It's the world's greatest app because I'm I'm like avid list maker. I'm a crazy list maker. You can organize lists into little groupings, like by category. You can share them with people. It's it's really nice. I'm uploading it now. I'm such a nerd. Wonderlist, Miss Arizona. All right, last question. Your favorite reality TV show. Oh, I don't watch much reality TV, but I'm gonna yeah, have to say fine. Dancing with the Stars. One of my judges um, was uh, Mark Ballas. He's oh, a really? professional dancer, oh. so he um, brought me and a, a few other uh, state title holders to see Dancing with the Stars live a few weeks ago. How cool is that? That was really cool. Did and he ended pick- up doing really well on the show. He was mm. first runner-up to winning the show. That's so. right. He was yeah, dancing. Yeah, but that was, with- was a lot of fun. He was dancing with um, 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 Kath. Catherine, uh, oh, the, the opera, opera singer. singer. Catherine McPhee Jenkins. Catherine Jenkins. Catherine right. Jenkins. Right. Yeah, the, yeah. English, British She's girl. beautiful. Camel Country 108. It's uh, Tim and Willie on a Tuesday. Willie's not here because he's uh, <laughs> recuperating from his son's wedding. Is that what you do, recuperate? Uh, after? I think he's working to pay it off. Oh, okay. Actually, <laughs> it was a very nice wedding. Uh, they got married in uh, Sedona in a state park, Red Rock State Park. Beautiful. Mm, that sounds pretty. Yeah, majestic Oak Creek Canyon behind them. So uh, congratulations to Andy and Angie. Uh, wedded yesterday in Sedona. Nice. Um, in his place, in his seat, in fact, is Jennifer Sedler, who is uh, Miss Arizona for about another month, third runner-up in the Miss America pageant in January, and then off to become a, a doctor, a, a pediatric oncologist, no less. Yes, wow. long road to get there, but working. Uh, we just asked a question that you could not answer live, but you have since tweeted the answer. Do you mind if I read it? Go ahead. The question was, how does a guy approach you? And do you have guys uh, approaching you? It seems like it would be very intimidating. Mm-hmm, to ask I would think. Miss Arizona. I do, out. though. Yeah. yeah. And which is good because I'm not a scary person. I'm not a hard person to talk to. No, you're, you're uh, quite easy to talk to, we found. Mm-hmm. Uh, here is what she says Best way for a man to approach me. This is Miss Arizona at Miss AZ 2011. Strike up a conversation about music. Or physiology. Ooh. <laughs> Hashtag nerd. <laughs> Hashtag nerd. <laughs> uh, specifically, what is physiology? Uh, physiology is the study of the human body. Okay. And how it works. So, I mean, I, I'm said that's what I'm studying in school. Yeah. Anything about, like, cells mm. or, like how, you know, composition of how the human body works, I think is so fascinating. Like I said, hashtag nerd. But that's very impressive to me. And I should have, I want to make a correction there. Um, I've since changed it to music and physiology. Oh, inclusive. <laughs> so uh, we're we're upping the ante right now. Oh, okay. wow. That is well-rounded. That's not nerd, by the way. That's well-rounded. <laughs> so I would say, have you heard Dirk Bentley's rendition of the Adele song? And, and I have a severe pain in my uh, <laughs> abdominal cavity. <laughs> and what will happen if I get tetanus, if I don't get my tetanus shot? <laughs> <laughs> <Tetanus. laughs> Which, uh, by the way, hashtag I think you should uh, get a tetanus shot. Hashtag, I got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> I got bronchitis. <laughs> Jennifer, it's, it's really great to meet you. Uh, you're a lovely young woman. Yes. We wish Thank you all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me on here. Thank you for representing Arizona, even though you didn't win. And thanks for keeping all those handlers in the other room. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, handlers? Yeah, that's right. Oh, I'm teasing. <laughs> Jennifer, before you leave, would you mind autographing this jar of butt glue? Oh. We want to put it uh, on I, eBay. I wouldn't mind Always. it all. And does that count as physiology? That does not count as physiology. That counts as creepy, that show director creepy. Dan. Oh, man.